All right, I'm going to walk you through doing the box project. So what you got to do is get your dimensions from the Google Classroom. They're going to be A, B, and C dimensions. So this document's going to use 80, 50, and 30, and yours are probably going to be different. So you should go open up that other PDF, find your period, your class period, and then find your name and get your sizes. So then we're going to start with the bottom of the box. So in Inkscape, we're going to do the A dimension here and the B dimension here. So I told you I'm doing 80 and 50. You're doing something different. So I'm going to go to Inkscape and draw a rectangle. And we're doing millimeters. So the width is 80 and the height is 50. There we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see everything. And... Uh, uh, then I asked you to save your project named your name in a box. So I'm going to do that now. So control S is Hayes box. I'd save it on the desktop. All right. Uh, hang on. I'm writing myself a note about something else. Okay. And then back to the instructions. Um, we need to create a rectangle that's 10 wide by 4 high and place it on the top in the middle, just overlapped. It'll look like this. So uh, let's make another rectangle. And we're going to go 10 wide and 4 high. And we're going to put it, uh, you know, about like that. I'm going to duplicate it, Control D, or you, uh, yeah, so it's Control D, and then you got to copy. We'll put it uh, similarly down here, and then we're going to select both of these things, and we're going to go to Object, Align, and Distribute, and we're going to hit the middle sort thing. Uh, sorry, not sort, but uh, center. So now it's centered. And then I'm going to make a copy of one of these. I'm going to duplicate it and move it over, and then we select these things, and we choose Path Union. All right. So that's that. Um, I made another copy first, and then I did path union. So then we do those two things vertically. So I'm going to make a, a, a copy over here. I'm going to flip it like that, and we're going to have it be over here. Uh, let's see, zooming in. It just has to be overlapped a little bit. I'm going to duplicate it again, put another copy over here. And notice I don't have to get it just right because um, I'm going to select this and I'm going to center it like that. See how they're centered? And then I'm going to do a union again. All right. So we're back here. There we go. We still have a copy of that little rectangle over on the side. You need to keep a copy going. So this is the bottom of the box. We're going to have six sides all together that we're making. So now we're going to make a new rectangle. That's the main width of your box. Uh, in my case, it was 80, but plus seven. And it has to be how tall the box is, which uh, is our C dimension, which is 30. So um, we're going to scroll right here. I'm going to make a, a thing, and it's going to be 30 tall and 87 wide remember yours is probably not 87 you have to use your a number um and then uh i need you to put the little boxes like this but on the inside now instead of uh, before we have to center them though um so let's go over and do that we'll make a copy of this Control d uh, i'm going to flip it and i'm going to put it uh, here I'm going to do Control D and I'm going to put it over here. Remember, it doesn't have to be, we're going to use the center tool. So it's not about eyeballing. So it's this one right here. So they're centered. Now we click off and select the rectangle and one of the small ones, just one at a time. And we're going to say path difference and then shift click on the other one. And we're going to say path difference. So uh, this is uh, so good. So this is important. Difference only works if you have only two items selected. So we do the big one in one side and then the big one in the other side. Um, and this tells you what to do if the wrong part disappears. Um, 
Uh, so now we're going to go back to making our box. So we did a path difference, path term. So now we're going to do one more right here. Um, so I need to make another copy. Don't grab this one. Make a copy. Control D. Bring it over and put it on the inside. And we're going to center it over here. And then we're going to do path difference. Okay, so now um, this is uh, this is uh, one side of our box. We're going to mirror it, so we have two of those. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, so I'm going to duplicate it. So one of them goes here. If you want, you can flip it so that it you know it's pointed towards the box. All right, and so then now. Um, this is really, uh, don't ignore this. I'm going to fix it. It's C and this is your, um, uh, B dimension. So, um, so my dimensions for this are 50 by 30 and then, um, uh, and then we need to have things sticking out on the top and the bottom and one notch there. So it's different from the other pieces. So we're gonna do right here, uh, 30 by 50. And um, we have to make a copy of this. And we're gonna, um, let's look again. We need it sticking out on the top and the bottom. So um, I'm gonna have it be just slightly overlapping there. Duplicate it and move the copy up there again just overlapping we do this and center it um, and uh, path union you can do them both at the same time uh, but then we need uh, this one i'm going to duplicate and we need a notch uh, over here on the inside so i'm looking back here making it look like this um, and this one is a uh, path difference. All right. And then we need to make a copy of this piece and put it over here. Uh, so now we have everything except for the very top. And the top is actually made of two pieces. I'm going to do a save. Uh, I, I just do control S that you can do that. Don't you just don't want to lose work in progress. Okay. So we have that. And now we just have to make the lid. So the lid is seven millimeters longer in both directions than your A and B. So in my example, it's 80 and 50. So I'm going to use 87 by 50. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to use this rectangle because we're done with that little one. Um, I'm going to make it 87 by 50. Okay. And don't worry about how thick it is. That's going to be the lid. You can test if it's right by dragging it over. Um, oh, it's supposed to be 57. I'm so glad I checked. It's seven plus seven in both directions. And notice how it pretty much covers, if you line it up, it covers your notches over there. But anyway, we want it down here. And then um, let's go back to the instructions. And then we make an inner, a second piece for the lid. We're going to subtract three. So instead of 87 and 57, we're going to do 77 and 47. So it's 80 minus three and 50 minus three. So um, we're going to make a copy, control D, make a copy. And this one will be 77 and 47. Okay, so uh, again, you can check that this is right because it's a little smaller and also it will fit uh, nicely right in here. So, um, we're going to put those there and then we're going to do a select all and we go up to object fill and stroke. If it's not showing, come up here, fill and stroke, and we want no fill. The stroke needs to be red. Perfect. And then stroke style, we have to set to 0.1 millimeters. Um, 0.1 hit enter. And now everything's all red and it's all nice and thin. We do a save and um, send it to the laser cutter and turn it in on the Google Classroom. That's it.